God Amen. bless our kids. Ja Jumal õnista, kui meie lapsi. Praise God. Kiitus Jumalale. Well, if you brought your Bibles with you this morning, ja, kui sina täna võtsid oma Biibli kaasa, go ahead and open up to Romans chapter 12. Siis palun nava see Rooma kirja 12. peatükist. Romans chapter 12, and we'll start there in just a moment. Roomastele 12, hetke pärast alustame sealt. But we are on our second part today on a series that I've entitled Life on Fire. Aga meie täna oleme teises osas seerias, millel olen panud peal kirjaks elu tules. Life on Fire. Elu tules. I want to have a life on fire. Mina tahan omada elu tules. You know, and, and uh, God desires for us to ja. have a life on fire. Jumal igatseb meie jaoks seda, et meie elu oleks tules. And, and to be someone with a life on fire means that you're just burning for God. Et see, et su elu on tules, see tähendab seda, et sa oled keegi, kelle süda põleb Jumala järgi. And everything that you do and everything that you are, that you are just ready to go. Kõik, mida sina teed, kõik, mis sina oled, sa lihtsalt oled valmis minema. And this is the secret, I believe with all of my heart, to living a successful Christian life. Ja ma usun, et see on see võtti, et elada edukad Kristas elu. And so what does it mean to live a life on fire. Nii et mida see tähendab elada elu tules? Well, we're going to be talking about this for the next month or two. Ja me räägime sellest järgmise et kuu või kaks. You know, I I when I teach, I teach in series. Ja kui mina õpetan, õpetan seeriates. It's the way I've always done it from the time we started our church. Ja see on nii nagu ma olen alati teinud sellest ajast alates, kui I, alustasime kogudusega. I like to take a subject and dig into it and and get out everything that God has for us. Mulle meeldib ja võtta siis teema, kaevuda sellesse ja saada sellest kõik see, mis Jumal so we're going to take uh, the, the next several weeks just discovering what it means to have a life on fire. But when we say fire, what we're talking about is just a, an enthusiasm that we have in God. We're talking about being excited about something. Having a passion to, 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 to do something. You know, when you have passion for something, that, that's it consumes you. Kui sul on kirg millegi järgi, siis on see, mis siis see on see haarab sind. And and it's 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 what what gives us a spiritual connection to God. Ja, see annab sellise vaims ühenduse Jumalaga. And what fire really is? Ja, tegelikult mis tuli on? Is when your spiritual connection to God begins to affect your emotions. See on siis see, kui sinu see vaim ühendus Jumalaga hakkab mõjutama sinu emotsioone. Well, this is not an emotional thing. Hey, see ei ole emotsionaalne asi. You know, I'm not an emotional Christian. Mina ei ole emotsionaalne kristlane. I am a faith person. Mina olen usu inimene. I don't go by what I see or what I feel. Mina ei käi selle järgi, mida ma näen või tunnen. All right, I get you. Ma, I, I, I hear you. Ma saan sinust aru, ma kuulen I, sind. I understand what faith is. Ma mõistan, mis on usk. But I'm telling you, if your emotions do not get involved, your faith is not going to be as strong as it could be. Aga mõtlen sulle seda, et kui sinu emotsioonid ei saa kaasatud, siis usk ei saa olema nii selline, nagu ta peaks olema. So this is not just a head gospel. Nii et see ei ole lihtsalt pea evangeeliume. This is a heart gospel. Vaid see on südame evangeeliume. This needs to be something that is on the inside of you that gives life to all that you do. See peaks olema midagi sellis, mis on sinu sees, mis annab elu kõigele sellele, mida sina teed. And you and I, we need to get our emotions involved in that. Ja sul ja mul on vaja seda, me emotsioonid saavad kaasatud sellega. I want to know that God is with me. Mina tahan teada seda, et Jumal on koos minuga. And when you have that feeling that God is with you. Ja kui sul on see tunne, Jumal on koos minuga. When you have that feeling that God is on the inside of you. Kui sul on see tunne, et Jumal on sinus. It is going to cause you to live your life on a higher level. Siis see põhjustab seda, et sina elad oma elu kõrgemal tasemel. And that is what we're after. Ja see on see, mida meie tahame. I want us to be a church that is on fire for God. Mina tahan seda, et me oleks kogudus, kes on tules Jumala järgi. Amen. Amen. I want you to be on fire Mina for God. Mina soovin seda, et sina põleksid Jumala järgi. But we can't be a church that's on fire for God until you get on fire for God. Aga me ei saa olla ennem siis kogudus, kes on tules Jumala järgi, kui sina ei ole tules Jumala järgi. We can't have a bunch of dead people come in and have a live church. Meil ei saa olla nii, et kari suurnud inimesi astub kogudusse sisse ja siis meil on elav kogudus. But everybody brings a little bit of the fire. Aga iga üks toob natukene tulda. And that fire can grow and that fire can be something. Ja see tuli saab kassada, see ei saab olla midagi. So I want our church to be a church that God is happy and proud of. Ma tahan seda, et meie kogudus oleks selline 
inimene kogudus, mille üle, siis Jumal on õnnelik, ta on uhke. And I believe when people are on fire and when we come together, ja ma usun seda, et kui inimesed põlevad nad on tules, me tuleme kokku, that we can do something big for God. Siis me saame teha midagi suurt Jumala jaoks. As we burn together for the Lord. Et kui meie koos põlem isanda jaoks. And so here in Romans chapter 12 and verse 11. Ja siin Rooma kiriga 12. pead 1 psalm 11. Romans chapter 12 and verse 11. Roomastele 12 psalm 11. It says never. Say never. Ja siin ütleb siis uh, never be lacking in zeal but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Ja siin ütleb teenige issendat tüdimatu innuga ja vaimult tulisena. My Bible says never be lacking in zeal. Ja siin ütleb seda, et mitte kunagi ärgu olgu sul puudust innukusest. Not, you know, be on, be, have, have zeal when you come to church. Et, et, et sul on siis innukus, kui sa tuleb kogudusse. That's not what it's talking about. Et, yeah. Et sul ei ole ainult siis innukus, kui sina tuleb kogudusse. It's not only having zeal when you pray for somebody. Et uh, ainult siis, kui sa palvetad kellegi eest, on sul innukus. But he says here, never be lacking in zeal. Vaid ta ütleb sul seda, et mitte kunagi ärgu olgu sinul puudu innukusest. Amen. Amen. Not just sometimes, never. Mitte lihtsalt, vaid mitte kunagi sul ärgu olgu puudus sellest. That means that we're burning for God. See tähendab seda, et meie põleme Jumala jaoks. That means that we have something to give to anybody that would come across our path. See tähendab seda, Seda, meil on anda igal ühele, kes tuleb meie teele, meie elusa. And so the Lord expects us to be enthusiastic people. Nii et isand ootab seda, et me oleksime entusiastlikud inimesed. Two people agreed with that this morning. Kaks inimest on omikul nõustus sellega. But hey, we need to be enthusiastic people. Me ei peame olema entusiastlikud inimesed. Amen. Amen. We need to be excited about what God has given me to us. Me ei peame olema põnevin selle suhtes, mis Jumal on meile annud. And it's in the way that we act. Ja see siis peab... See peab olema, näeme selles viisis, kuidas me tegutseme. It's in the way that we speak. See on selles viisis, kuidas me räägime. That we live all out for Jesus Christ. Et me kõigega elame Jeesusele Kristusele. That there would be nothing that would hold us back. Et me elame täiega, ei ole mitte midagi, mis hoiaks meid tagasi. God wants you to be on fire. Jumal tahab seda, et sina oleksid tules. He wants you to be hot as you serve him. Ta tahab seda, et sina oleksid kuum, kui sina teda teenid. He wants you to be a dedicated follower of Jesus Christ. Ta tahab seda, et sina oleksid pühendunud Jeesuse Kristuse eest. Because we have found the truth. Sest me oleme leidnud tõe. Because we know Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Kuna me teame seda, et Jeesus Kristus on meie isand ja pääst. And having that knowledge and having that understanding will cause us to live our life in a different way. Ja selle teadmise, omamine, et sa tead seda, siis see põhjustab seda, et me elame tules. So don't hold back anything. Nii et ära hoia tagasi mitte kui midagi. Don't hold back what God has put on the inside of you. Nii et ära siis hoia tagasi, ära takista seda, mida Jumal on sinusse pannud. Let it out, let it flow out of you for the glory of God. Vaid lasse tulla välja, lasse voolata välja sinust Jumal auksa. And so be enthusiastic about what you have. Nii et ole entusiastik selle suhtes, mis sinul on. Be thankful for what Jesus Christ has given to you. Ole tänulik selle ees, mis Jeesus Kristus on sinul annud. Because I believe Christians should be the most fired up and, and energetic people on the planet. Muus on seda kristlased peaksid olema kõige rohkem tult täis ja kõige energilisemad inimesed siin planeedil. Amen. Amen. We need to be excited about life. Me peaksime olema põnevil elusuhtes. Because we have found the reason to live. Selle pärast me oleme leidnud põhjus eluks. Everybody else is looking for the meaning of life. Kõik otsivad elu tähendust. I'm so glad I found it. Ja mul on nii hea meel, et ma olen leidnud selle. Amen. I'm so Amen. glad that I know who, what it is that I am to do with my life. Ja mul on nii hea meel, et ma tean, mida mina enda elus pean tegema. I'm glad you know what you're to do with your life. Ja ma olen väga tänulik selle eest, et sina tead, mida sa enda elus pead tegema. The main thing for us all to do is to, to make sure that everyone around us knows a God that loves them. Ja peame asi meie jaoks on see, et me teeme kindlaks, et need inimesed, kes on meie ümber, nad teaksid, nad tunneksid Jumalat, kes armastab neide. You know, the, uh, the Bible says this in 2 Timothy chapter 1. Ja, Bibel ütleb seda teine kiri Timotesel esimene peatükke. 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 6. Teine, pea, teine kiri Timotesel esimene peatükke, salmis 6. Says, for this reason I remind you to fan into the flame the gift of God which is in you through the laying on of my hands. Sel põhjusel tuleta ma sulle meelde, et sa taas sõhutaksid lõkkele Jumal ande, mis on sinus minu kätte peale panemise kaudu. He's reminding him to do what? Et ta meenutab talle mida? 
stir up the fire. Eta õhutaks üle selle tule endase. In other words, get your emotions connected to your faith. Teise sõnu, et lass sinu emotsioonid saada ühendatud sinu usuga. Get your emotions connected to what it is that you're doing for the Lord every day. Lass sinu emotsioonid saada ühendatud sellega, mida sina teed isandal igapäevaselt. That you would not live a dead, boring life. Et sina elaks surnud, igavat elu. But that you would be on fire and you would never let that fire go out. Vaid et sina oleksid tulesi, sa mitte kunagi ei laseks sellel tulel kustuda. This is what God wants ja, for us. See on see, mida Jumal tahab But it is up to us. Aga see oleneb meiste. It's up to you to stir up the fire that's on the inside. See oleneb sinust, et üle sõutada see tuli sinu sees. It's not up to God. See ei ole Jumalaste. I've heard Christians pray, Lord, stir up a fire in me. Et Jumal kuuleb seda, kuidas kristlased üüavad, et Jumal, sina õhuta see, et tuli üles see minuse. I've heard Christians pray for, for a fire to burn in their life. Ja ma olen kuulnud seda, kuidas kristlased on palunud, et, et see tuli põleks nende eludese. It's not up to God. Et see ei ole Jumalaste. It's up to us. See oleneb meiste. The Bible says it's up to you. Piibel ütleb seda, et see oleneb sinust. If you want to be a Christian who's on fire for God, kui sina tahad olla kristlane, kes põleb Jumala järgi, you have to do it. Siis sina pead seda tegema. Because God has already done everything he's going to do. Selle pärast Jumal juba on teinud kõik, mida tema on vaja teha. And we should be excited about that. Ja me peaks olla põnevin selle suhtes. We should take that and just let it burn in our life so that the world can see it. Me peaks võtma selle laskma sellele põleda enda elus nii et maailm näeb seda. And I, it doesn't matter what you do. Ja vahet ei ole mida sina teed. Whether you're a stay-at-home mom or dad. Kas sa oled kodus olev ema või isa? If you are a, a president of, of a country. Kas sina oled riigi president? If you're the president of a bank. Oled sa panga president. Or if you are a, a contractor, a, a builder. Või oled sina ehitaja. Whatever it is that you do mida iganes sina teeda you need to be burning for the lord and burning for the call sina, that he's given us sina pead põlema isanda jaoks ja selle kutse jaoks mis tema on annud meie elusse and so don't don't just wait for god to do something need ära lisa toota seda et jumal teeks midagi he wants you to take what he's already done vaid tema tahab et sina võtaksid selle mida tema juba on teinud receive what he did for you et võta vastu see mida tema tegi sinu jaoks and let that be enough ja las see olla piisav because it's the truth is it's more than enough ja tõde on see see on rohkem kui küllalda amen. amen we can get excited about god God being a God of more than enough. Me saame olla põnevin selle suhtes, et meil on Jumal, kes on rohkem kui küllaldane. And we need to declare that, that he is what he is. Ja me peame kuulutama, ütlema seda, et tema on see, keda tema ütleb ennast olevat. And desire more and more of him. Ja igatsema rohkem ja rohkem teda. I think we are to desire more and more of what God has for us. Ja mus on seda, et me peame rohkem ja rohkem igatsema seda, mis Jumalal on meie jaoks. It starts with the desire. Ja see saab algus igatsusest. And then you need to stir it up. Ja siis sina pead selle üles You stir up what it is that he's given Sina you. Sina üles see, mis tema on sulle annud. I can encourage you. Mina võin sind julgustada. But then it's up to you to accept it or to, to reject it. Aga siis oleneb sinus, kas võtta see vastu või siis lükata tagasi. I can tell you what God's will is for your life. Ma võin rääkida seda, mis on Jumala tahe sinu elu jaoks. But it doesn't mean everybody is going to leave here today on fire for God. Aga see ei tähenda seda, et kõik inimesed täna siit lähevad ja nad põlevad Jumala järgi. It's up to you. See oleneb sinuste. You can take this or you could just say, well, that's for, you know, the crazy guys like pastor. Sa saad võtta selle või siis sa võid öelda, et ah, et see on kõikide selliste hullude jaoks nagu pastor. You know, I, I don't need to be like him, I just need to be me. Mina ei pea olema tema moodi, mina pea olema, olema lihtsalt mina. Well, you need to be you. Sina pead olema sina. But be you full of God. Aga ole sina täis jumalate. Be you, be the best you that you can ole be. Ole parim sina, kes sa olla saada. And I believe God will use that for his glory. Ja ma usun seda, et Jumal kasutab seda enda auks. You know, last week we saw how, how prayer and praise go together. Eem näda me nägime seda kuidas palve ja kiitus käivad koos. How prayer and praise will set us on fire kuidas for God. Kuidas palve ja kiitus siis süütavad meid põlema Jumala jaoks. Go with me back to 2 uh, Corinthians. Ja läheme tagasi. Second Chronicles. Sorry. Ja läheme tagasi teine aja raamat. Second Chronicles chapter 7. Teine aja raamat seitsmes peatükke. You know prayer and praise is a very powerful combination. Palve ja kiitus see on väga võimas kombinatsioon. And it is a way that we can can receive things from the Lord. Ja see on viis, kuidas me saame vastu võtta asju isandalt. I believe we need to be people that know how to pray. Ma usun seda, et me peame olema inimesed, kes teavad kuidas palvetada. But we need to be people that know how to praise. Aga me peame olema inimesed, kes teavad kuidas kiita. And it will bring the presence of God more and more into our lives. Ja see toob Jumala ligi olu rohkem ja rohkem meie eludesse. I want you to read this here Second Chronicles chapter 7. We're going to read the first three verses. Ja soin lugeda teine aja raamat seitsmes peatükke esimesed kolm salmi. It says and when Solomon 
I had finished praying, fire came down from heaven and consumed the burnt offering and the sacrifices, and the glory of the Lord filled the temple. Kui Salomon oma palve oli lõpetanud, siis tuli taevas tuli ja põletas põletusohvri ja tapaohvrid ja issand au hiil, kus täitis koja. And the priest could not enter the temple of the Lord because the glory of the Lord had filled it. Ja preestid ei võinud minna issanda kotta, sest issanda au hiil, kus oli täitnud issanda koja. And when all the Israelites saw the fire coming down and the glory of the Lord above the temple, they knelt down on the, uh, on the pavement with their faces to the ground and they worshipped and gave thanks to the Lord, saying, He is good and His love endures forever. Ja kui kõik Iisrael lapsed nägid, kuidas tuli alla tuli ja issanda au hiil, kus oli koja kohal, siis heitsid nad silmili maha kivi põrandale, kummardasid ja tänased issandat, et tema on hea, et tema heldus kestab igavesti. We see here they prayed and they praised. Me näeme seda, et nad siin palvetasid ja kiitsid. They prayed and they praised. Nad palvetasid ja kiitsid. And the, the fire of God and the, 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 the glory of the Lord came Ja in. Jumala tuli, Jumala au tuli. Kohale. I believe as we learn to pray right and to praise right. Ja mõus on seda, et kui me õpime õigesti palvetama, kiitma õigesti. As a church. Kogudusena. As we grow, grow in our understanding and our knowledge of, of how to really give ourselves to the Lord. Kui me kasvame siis enda aru saamises ja teadmises, kuidas siis I believe that we're going to have more manifestations of God in our church. That God is going to be on display more and more in our services. And it's going to be for the glory of God. Do you believe that with me? Amen. I want that. I want to see God on display. I want to have the presence of God just fall in this place that I don't have to get up and talk. That we could just sit in the presence of God and go home happy. Now it's not going to be like that every time, but I, I would love to have time like that. that. We just come and we just experience His presence in a real and, and, and tangible way. But today I want to go a little bit different direction. And I want to, today I want to talk about needing to have your hearts on fire for God. Ja ma täna tahan rääkida selles siis et et kuidas siis omada südamad mis on täis tulda. We need our hearts to be on fire. Meie vajame seda et meie südamed oleksid tult täis. Amen. Amen. Say, say I want my heart on fire. Ma tahan seda et minu süda põleks. Ma tahan seda et minu süda põleks. I want your heart on fire. Mina tahan seda, et sinu süda põleks. I want you to be burning in your heart for God. Mina tahan seda, et sina oma südames põleksid Jumala jaoks. You know, have you ever had times where life just kind of seemed pointless? Kas sinu elus on olnud aegu, kus kohas elu lihtsalt tundub mõttetuna? You know, even in your Christian life, your Christian walk, it just seems like, uh, what's the... What's Isegi sinu Kristas elus, sa mõtled, et mis mõte üldse on. It just makes you want to give up. Selline tunne, et tahaks lihtsalt alla anda. Your situations just want to... Just want you just to let go. You just live saying, you know, what's the point? Ja siis elad mõtled, et mis on üldse mõte. I think all of us at times in our life have been there to some degree. Ja ma arvan seda, et kõik me enda elus siis oleme olnud sellises paigas mingil määral. You know, and, and hopefully if you get to that point that you don't give up, but you might feel like giving up. Ja tõenäoliselt, kui sa enda elus jõuad sellises paika, siis sa ei anna alla. Sul võib olla see tunne alla anda, aga sa ei anna. But maybe there are times that you've asked yourself as a believer. Aga võib olla, on olnud aegu, kus sa oled endalt kristlasena küsinud. Where is, where is is this favor of God that he promised you? Where is this blessing that I'm supposed to have as a Christian? And I think there are times that we can get so caught up in ourselves that we miss Jesus when he shows up. I think there are times that you can get so involved in just you and your sad, sorry life seda, et mõnikord sina võid olla lihtsalt nii hõivatud ise enda ja oma haleda kurva eluga. That when, when, the, when the answer shows up that you're just too focused on you. 
kui see vastu silmu välja sinu jaoks, siis sina lihtsalt oled nii hõivatud ise endaga. And we can miss it. Ja me võime sellest ilma jääda. You know, maybe it's because we're not looking for him. Võib-olla selle pärast, et me ei, me ei vaata tema poole. Maybe it's because we're just me so... Me Maybe it's just because we are so busy with life. Võib-olla me oleme lihtsalt nii hõivatud selle eluga. That we just don't notice him. Et me lihtsalt ei märka teda. But when, when the time comes. Aga kui tuleb aeg. And when Jesus shows up. Ja Jeesus ilmub välja. And you do need to know he will show up. Ja sa pead teadma seda, et ta ilmub välja. When Jesus shows up, you need to recognize him and you need to follow him. Kui Jeesus ilmub välja, siis sina pead tema ära tulma ja talle järgnema. But there are times that we miss Jesus when he's standing right there in front of us. Aga on aegu, kus kohas me siis ei märka Jeesust selle ajal, kui tema seisab otse meie eese. Because we are just so down on ourselves. Kuna me lihtsalt oleme nii maas enda eluse. And he wants us to turn to him every time. Ja tema soib seda, et meie igakord pöörduks tema poole. He wants us to be looking for him day by day. Tema tahab seda, et meie otsiksime teda päevast päeva. Because this is what he wants to do. Selle pärast see on see, mida tema tahab, et me, mida tema tahab teha. He wants to take your difficult situation and turn it around into something good. Tema tahab võtta sinu rasked olukorrad ja pöörata need ümber millekski, millekski heaks. Amen. Amen. I have seen it time and time and time again in my Min, own life. Ainud uuesti ja uuesti seda enda eluse. That the difficult situations, the times that I felt I wanted to give up. Et rasked olukorrad, need ajad, kus ma olen soovinud lihtsalt alla anda. That if I would just look for the Lord and find him, he'll turn it around into something Et kui ma lihtsalt oleks vaadanud isande poole, siis ta oleks võtnud ja pööranud selle olukorra minu kasukse. And, and I want that for us. Ja ma tahan meie jaoks seda. I want that for the body of Christ. Ma tahan seda Kristus ihu jaoks. And so we have got to seek him. Nii et meie peame otsima teda. We have got to get to a place where we'll recognize him even in the world. Worst of times. Meie peame jõudma sinna paika, kus me meie tunneme tema ära isegi kõige hullemal ajal enda eluse. But go with me to Luke chapter 24. Aga läheme Luuka 24. I want to uh, read a story here today of two guys who are very sad. Ja ma tahan lugeda siit lugu kahest meest, kes on väga kurvad. Uh, the, these guys are sad because Jesus has just been crucified and died. Need mehed on kurvad selle pärast, et Jeesus on just risti löödud ja ta on surnuda. Jesus was then put in a grave and now his body has gone missing. Jeesus pandi siis hauda ja nüüd on tema keha kadunud. And they 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 they're debating with each other. Ja siis nad nimodi arutlevad üks teisega. And, you know, is is everything that he said just a lie? Kas see kõik mida tema ütles on lihtsalt vale? Is it all over? Kas see kõik on läbi? Did we follow him for nothing? Kas me ei järgnesime järgnesime temale lihtsalt ilma asjata? Did we give up everything to be with him and now he's dead? Me loobusime kõigest et olla koos temaga ja nüüd tema on surnud. At the at the peak of his ministry when everything seemed to be going well. Oma teenistuse tipul kui kõik tuldus minemat väga hästi. We saw sicknesses Go. Me näeme seda, kuidas haigused on lähevad. We saw miracles. Me nägime imesid. We saw all kinds of things and now it's over. Nägime igasuseid asju, aga nüüd on läbi. When he spoke, it was just like we were hearing from the God, God the Father himself. Ja kui ta rääkis, siis oli selline tunne, nagu me kuuleksime Jumalalt isalt otse. And now he's gone forever. Ja nüüd tema on läinud igaveseks. And not only is he gone, but we don't even know where his body is. Mitte lihtsalt ta pole läinud, vaid nüüd me enam ei tea ka, kus kohas on tema keha, tema laipe. Somebody has taken his body. Keegi on tema keha ära võtnud viinuda. These disciples they had watched Jesus be crucified. Need jüngrid nad olid vaadanud näinud seda kuidas Jeesus risti löödi. And just put yourself in their shoes. Ja pane ennast nende olukorda. Can you imagine the defeat that they felt? Kas sa võitsis ette kujutada seda kaotust mida nemad kogesid? They were expecting Jesus to take the throne as the king of Israel. Nad ootasid seda et Jeesus võtab Iisraeli trooni siis kuningana. They thought they were going to be on, you know, in his secret service no, or mõtlesid, whatever. Seda, et nemad siis saad olema kas tema salateenistuses või mida iganes. They thought they were going to be somebody special because they were close to him from the beginning. No, mõtlesid, seda, et nemad saad olema midagi erilist, kuna nemad olid temaga koos juba algusest. And now Ja nüüd, the one who was supposed to be the Messiah. Tema, kes pidi olema Messias. Now the one who was supposed to be their savior. Nüüd, tema, kes pidi olema nende päästja. Is gone. On läinud. Kadunud. Can you imagine how their hearts must have felt what what the, what their minds must have been thinking how Kas sa et, are we? ette kujutada mida nende südamed pidid kogema mida nad oma mõttetes pidid mõtlema et kui rumalad me ikka olime so they lost hope ja sina kaotsid lootuse and these two guys left all the other disciples ja need kaks meest jätsid maha kõik need ülenud jüngride they decided we're going to go home ja nad otsustasid meie läheme koju it's all over kõik on läbi and we're so disappointed ja, we're so frustrated me oleme nii pettunud me oleme nii ärritunud and so uh, their, their hearts were empty ja nende südamed olid tühjad they were trying to understand 
what just happened. Mõista, mis just nüüd and their faith is broken. Ja nende usk on kaikki. The fire that was in their hearts a day before has gone completely out. And as they travel home, they're having this heated conversation. Ja kui nad siis reisivad kodupoola, on neil selline tuline vestluse. You know, they're probably waving hands and why did this happen? Ja nad saad siis gestikuleerivad kätte, et miks küll see kõik pidi juhtuma niimoodi. You know, I, I, I wanted so much for this to work and now it's done. Ma nii väga tahtsin, et see kõik toimiks, aga nüüd on kõik läinud. You know, what is Peter going to do? I'm not going to follow Peter. Mida see Peetrus nüüd teeb? Mina teda küll ei järgi. I don't want to follow somebody like that. Mina ei taha küll kedagi sellist järgi. So let's just go home. I was, I was following Jesus, not him. Mina, nii et läheme koju, mina järgisin Jeesust, mitte teda. And so they left and they're going home disappointed and frustrated. Ja siin nad läksid koju, nad olid pettunud, frustreeritud, ärritunud. So that's kind of the back story here. Let's ja read the story. Ja see on selle loo tausta, nüüd läheme loeme seda lugu. And I'm going to read several verses here. Ja ma loen siin mitmed salmid. I'm going to read through this whole story and then we're going to come back and talk about it. Ja siis vaatame selle kogu loo läbi ja siis ma tulen tagasi ja räägime sellest. But in Luke chapter 24, I'm going to start reading with verse 13. Aga Luuka 24 alustan lugemis salmis 13. So it's now that same day, two of them were going to a village called Emmaus, about 11 kilometers from Jerusalem. Ja vaata, kaks nendest olid seal samal päeval minemas külla, mis on Jerusalemast umbes 10 kilometri kaugusel. And they were talking with each other about everything that had happened. Mille nimi on Emmaus ja nad vestlasid oma vahel kõiges, mis oli juhtunud. And as they talked and discussed these things with each other, Jesus himself came up and walked with them. Ja sündis, et nende vesteldes ja arutledes lähenes neile Jeesus ise ja kõndis nendega kaasas. But they were kept from recognizing him. Ent nende silmi peeti, nii et nad ei tunnud teda ära. And he asked them, what are you discussing together as you walk along? Aga Jeesus ütles neile, mis lood need on, mida te oma vahel veeretate teed käies. So there must have been something, I mean, there must have been a loud discussion. Nii et pidi olema midagi, pidi olema selline valju vestluse. You know, why are you talking like you're talking? Mille pärast sa räägid nii nagu sina räägida? What are you guys talking about? Et mida te mehed räägite? And they, 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 they uh, stood with their faces downcast. Uh, just the last part ja of verse 17. Siis, uh, no, and one of them named Cleopas asked, Are you the only one visiting Jerusalem who does not know the things that have happened there in these days? Aga üks neist nimega Kleopas ütles temale, sina vist üks ei oled selline võõras Jerusalemas, kes veel ei tea, mis neil päevil seal on sündinud. Jesus says, things? Jeesus What things? Ütles, asjad, mis asjad? <laughs> and he goes on to, to say, uh, uh, about Jesus of Nazareth, they replied, he was a prophet, a powerful in word and deed before God and all the people. Ja edasi siis salmis 19. Ja ta küsis neilt, mis siis? Nemad ütlesid talle see, mis juhtus Jeesuse Nazaretlasega, kes oli profete, vägev teos ja sõnas, Jumala ja kogu rahva ees. The chief priests and all the rulers handed him over to be sentenced to death and they crucified him. Kuidas me ülem preestid ja vanemad on ta loovutanud surma kohtu kätte ja risti löönud. So what they're saying is this wasn't just a little private ceremony that just a few people attended. Nii et ta ütles, et see ei olnud lihtsalt mingisugune privaatne ceremonia, kus see paar inimest olid osa sellest. This is something that all Jerusalem knew was going on. Vaid see oli asi, mida kogu Jerusalem teadis, et see asi toimub. It impacted the whole city. See mõjutas kogu linna. Verse 21. Ja salmis 21. But we had hope that he was the one who was going to redeem Israel. And what what is more, uh, it is the third day since all of this has taken place. Aga meie lootsime, et tema ongi see, kes Israeli rahva lunastab. Ometi on täna käes kolmas päev pärast kõige selle sündimiste. And in addition to all that, Ja siis kõigele sellele lisaks. Some women were, have amazed us because they went to the tomb early this morning. Aga ka mõned naised meie seast, kes käisid koidu ajal hauakambri juures. And they did... Yep, they did not find his body and they came and told us that they had seen a vision of an angel who said he was alive. Panid meid hämmastuma, kui nad tema ihu ei leidnud, tulid nad öeldes end ka öeldes end ka näinud olemat inglite nägemust, kes ütelnud, et tema elab. And, and he goes on to say and some of our companions went to the tomb and found it was just as the women said. But they didn't see Jesus. Ja edasi ja mõned meie kaaslastest läksid haua kambrisse ja leidsid nõnda olevat nagu ka naised olid ütelnud teda ennast nad aga ei näinud. So he was saying you know these women they, the tomb was empty they said well yeah he's risen. Ja siis ta ütles et need naised ja seal et nägid haud oli tühi et on üles tõusnud. But when the disciples went there there was nothing. 
rääkisid seda, aga siis kui jõngrid läksid sinna, ei olnud mitte midagi tühi. So oli. now not only is he dead, his body is missing, we don't know what's going on. Ja nüüd ta lihtsalt enam ei ole surnud, vaid nüüd on ka tema keha kadunud. Me enam ei tea, mis nüüd on. Look, look at Jesus. Ja vaata Jeesust. Verse 25. Salmis 25. He said, how foolish you are and how slow to believe all the prophets have spoken. Ja tema ütles neile, ohte mõistmatud ja südamelt pikaldased uskuma seda kõike, mis profetid on rääkinud. They were thinking they were foolish to have followed Jesus. Nema mõtsed seda, et nad olid rumalad, et järgisid Jeesust. Jesus shows up and says, you are foolish that you do not believe. Jeesus ilmus välja ütles, et te olete rumalad sellepärast, et te ei uskunud. Verse 26. Ja salmis 26. Did not the Messiah have to suffer all these things and then... Enter into his glory. Eks Messias pidanud seda kannatama ja oma kirkusesse minema. He had to die for sin. Et tema pidi surema patu värast. Jesus is trying to tell them he had to suffer for you so that you could live. Ja Jees ütles neile seda, et, et, et ta siis pidi kannatama nende pärast selleks, et sina saaksid elada. In verse 27, it says, in beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he explained to them what the scripture said concerning himself. Ja hakates peale Moosesest ja profetitest seletas Jeesus neile ära kõigis kirjades selle, mis tema kohta käib. So this is at about 11 kilometer walk. Ja see on umbes 11 kilometri pikkune siis teekond. This is going to take them about 2 hours and 20 minutes at a normal walking pace. Umbes 2 tundi 20 minutit see võttis aega, et siis kõndida seda teed tavalise siis käimise, käimise temposse. So for the next 2 hours and 20 minutes, Jesus is going to give them a monologue. Nii et siis järnevad 2 tundi 20 minutit, Jeesus annab neile monoloogi. He interrupts their conversation of doubt. Ta siis katkestab nende kahtluse vestluse. And he said, don't you know what the Lord God has said. Ja, ta ütlesid, kas te ei tea seda, mida isand Jumal on öelnud? And he started in Genesis and he talked about himself over and ja. over and over and over. Ja siis ta alustas esimeses Mooses raamatust ja rääkis endast ta näites, kus seal räägib uuesti ja uuesti temast. Now, when we read the New Testament, we can see Jesus easy, his, his name's there. Kui meie loeme uut testamenti, siis me saame väga kergelt näha Jeesus, ta nimi on seal. But the New Testament was not written at that time. He was reading from the Old Testament. Aga sellel ajal ei olnud kirjutatud uut testamenti. Ta siis luges neile vanast, ta siis rääkis neile vanast testamentist. And he's quoting verse after verse after verse, story after story about himself. Ja siis ta tsiteeris seal salm salmi haaval, lugu loo haaval ise endast. So didn't you realize what this was and don't you see what this means? Ja ta ütles, et kas te ei saanud aru, mis see oli ja kas te ei saa aru, mida see tähendab? He's probably quoting from Isaiah and from all these other prophets who talked about, you know, him, him paying the price for our penalty. Ja ta ütles, et ta tsiteeris ja saajate, et mida siis Jeesus kõike pidi tegema, et tema oli see siis, kes maksis hinna meie patud eest, võttis karistus enda peale. You think I preach long? Ja, sa mõtled seda, et mina jutustan kaua. Two hours and 20 minutes, they just got hammered with the word of God. Kaks tundi, 20 minutit, neid lihtsalt vasardat Jumala sõnaga. And then in verse 28 here. Ja, siis salmis 28. It says, and as they approached the village to which they were going, Jesus continued on as if he was going further. Ja, kui nad lähenesid külale, kui nad olid minemas, tegi ta nagu ta läheks edasi. But they urged him strongly to stay, for, stay with us because it's nearly evening, the day is almost over, and so he went in with them. Aga nemad käisid talle peale öeldes, jää meie juurde, sest õhtu jõuab ja päev on juba veeremas ja tema läks sisse, et nende juurde jääda. And then they're going to make him some, some food. They're going to, uh, you know, cook him dinner. Ja siis nad teevad temale süüa, teevad õhtu söögi valmise. The Bible doesn't say it, but I'm sure the whole time they were cooking, he just kept talking. Ja piibel seda ei räägi, aga musun seda, et selle aal, kui nad seal süüa valmistasid, Jeesus jätkas rääkimist kogu aeg. So how much longer did it take? I don't know. Nii et kui palju see kõik veel aega võttis, ma ei tea. What, what, you know, three, four hours? Kolm, neli tundi. You know, the, the whole time that they had together? I don't know. Et kõik saeg, mis neil oli koos, ma ei tea täpselt. But we know that Jesus, he's just talking to them about himself and in the, in the Messiah. Me teame seda, et Jeesus rääkis neile ise endast, Messiast. And, and so, verse 30 says, And when he sat at the table with them, he took the bread, and he gave thanks, and he broke it, and began to give it to them. Ja, salmis 30 edasi. Ja see sündis, kui ta nendega lauas istus, et võttes leivada, õnnistas ja murdis ning andis neile. Now, if they were disciples of Jesus, ja, kui nad olid Jeesuse jüngride, they would have seen him take bread and break it before. Siis nad olid näinud seda varem, kuidas Jeesus võttis leiva ja murdis selle. They would have heard him pray before, before 
they, they, they ate together. Ja no, te siis on nägida enne seda, et kui nad sööma hakkasid, kuidas Jeesus palvetas. And I believe there was nobody that talked to the Father like Jesus. Ja muusun, et ei olnud kedagi, kes oleks rääkinud Jumala isaga nii nagu Jeesus. And Jesus probably had a special way of breaking the bread that they recognized. Ja täna on see Jeesus ja oli selline eriline viis, kuidas see leib võtta murdase ja sina tundsid ära selle. Now in Jewish custom, Jesus should not have been the one to take the bread and break it. Ja juudi kultuuris ei oleks olnud see nüüd õige see, et Jeesus on see, kes võtab ja murrab selle leiva. It was the head of the house who did that. Vaid see oli selle koja pea ülesanne seda teha. It was the it was the, you know, usually the husband or, or the, the 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 oldest in the home. See taas oli siis peremees, see oli kas siis abikasa mees või siis kõige vanem inimene seal majas. And, but, but Jesus, he's the one that said, let me do this. Aga Jeesus ütles, et las mina teen seda. He took the bread, he prayed, he broke it. Tema võttis leiva, tema murdis, tema palvetas. Verse 31 says, and then their eyes were open and they recognized him and right away he disappeared. Siis avanesid neil silmad ja nad tundsid ta ära ja tema kadus nende silmist. And verse 32 says, and they asked each other, were not our hearts burning within us while we talked with him on the road as, a, as he opened up the scriptures to us? Ja, salmis 32, ja nad ütlesid teine teisele, eks meie süda põlenud meie sees, kui ta teel meega rääkis ja meile kirju selgitas. And they got up and they returned at once to Jerusalem and they found the eleven and those that were with them assembled together. Ja nad tõusid ning pöördusid selsamal tunnil tagasi Jerusalemma ning leidsid koos olevat need 11 ja nende kaaslased. And they said it is true the Lord has risen and he's appeared to Simon. Kes ütlesid isse on tõest üles äratatud ja on enn näidanud Simonale. And then the two told what had happened on the way and how Jesus was recognized by them when he broke the bread. Ja nemad ise kirjeldasid mis tee peal oli juhtunud ja kuidas nad olid tema leiva murdmisest ära tunnud. This is an awesome story. Ja see siin on väga võimas lugu. This is a story that shows us the heart of Jesus. See on see lugu mis näitab Jeesuse südant. And how we are supposed to respond to him in our lives. Ja kuidas me peame vastama temal enda elus. And the verse that I want to go back and look at here today is verse 32. Ja see sain mille juurde ma soovin täna tagasi minna ja seda veel vaadata on sain 32. Luke 24:32 says, and they asked each other, were not our hearts burning within us while he talked to us on the road and opened the scriptures to us. Luuka 24 salmis 32. Ja nad ütlesid teine teisele, eks meie süda põlenud meie sees, kui ta teel meega rääkis ja meile kirju selgitas. Their hearts were burning. Neid südamed põlesid neise. As they listened to Jesus talk about himself, they just got more and more on fire in their hearts. Kui nad kuusid seda, kuidas Jeesus rääkis ise endast, siis rohkem ja rohkem nende süda hakkas põlema neise. And, and you know, what is a burning heart? Mis on põle süda? What is that? Mida see tähendab? Well, if a, a definition could be a heart on fire. Definitsioon võib olla see, et siis süda tules. Okay, what is that? Et mis on see? That, that's a heart with the presence of God. See on süda, milles on Jumala ligiolu. Sensing the presence of God in your feelings, it's becoming real. Et sa koga, et Jumala ligiolu sinu tunnetes saab see reaalseks. And so uh, this could be uh, either, uh, you know, somebody who would be a new uh, believer in Jesus. Näiteks see võib olla keegi, kes on alles saanud ja päästetud ja alles hakkanud uskuma Jeesust. Or maybe somebody who has renewed their dedication to the Lord. Või keegi, kes on just uuendanud oma pühendumise isandale. You know, that, that fire that you have on the inside. Et see tuli, mis on sinu sees. The fire to serve him, the fire to know him. See tuli teenida, tunda teda. I want to know this Savior. I want to know the God who has, who has uh, rescued me. Mina tahan tunda seda päästa. Mina tahan tunda seda Jumalat, kes on mind päästnud. And it's God's presence coming in your life in a real way. Ja see on Jumala ligi olu, mis tuleb sinu ellu reaalsel viisile. To where you have a life that's on fire for God. Nii et sul on elu, mis on tules Jumala järgi. But it talks about their hearts that were burning in them. Aga see on räägib sellest, et nende südamed nende sees põlesid. Now, there are ways to put out a fire. Ja on olemas viis, kuidas kustutada tuli. There's ways to put out a fire. On olemas viis, kuidas kustutada tuli. Number one, you, s- you smother it with something. Esiteks sa siis lämmatad selle millegagi. And you smother out that fire and it'll go out. Sa lämmatad seda tuld ja see kustub ära. The other way to, to, to get rid of a fire ja teine viis, kuidas tules lahti saada is just to let it burn. On see, et sa lihtsalt lased selle põleda 
neglect to put any fuel on it and it will burn out. Ja siis sa jätad hooletusse sinna siis selle kütuse lisamise ja see lihtsalt põleb lõpuni. And so there's there's two ways to put out a fire. You either smother it out or just let it burn out. Ja see on olemas kaks viisi, kuidas siis kustuta tuld ja kas siis lämmatada see või lihtsalt lasta põleda lõpuni, et sa ei lisa sinna põlemise enam rohkem puid või kütust. Well, the same is true for a, for a heart on ja fire. Ja sama lugu on ka südamega, südame tulega. Uh, the same is true with a heart that is burning. Ja et sama on ka südamega, mis põleb. You can put it out. Sina saad selle ära kustutada. So my question for you today is, is your heart on fire Nii et minu küsimus sinule täna on see, kas sinu süda põleb Jumala järgi? Is your heart burning for the Lord? Kas sinu süda põleb isanda jaoks? Because one of the ways a, a, a heart can lose its fire Selle pärast, et üks viisides, kuidas see süda võib kaotada tule is through sin. On läbi patu. Sin will immediately begin to smother a fire. Pat on see, mis hakkab koheselt lämmatama seda tulde. Uh, you know, if we crowd out, uh, if we crowd our heart uh, filled with God if we begin to crowd that out with other priorities. Kui meie süda siis mis on täidetud Jumalaga, me hakkame seda siis üle kuhjama teiste prioriteetidega. Things that we think are important. Asjadega mille kohta me mõtleme, et need on tähtsad meie jaoks. Even though God might not approve. Kuigi Jumal ei pruugi seda heaks kiita. We approve. Meie kiidame selle heaks. Have you ever had something in your life that maybe God doesn't approve of? Kas sinu elus kui on olnud midagi sellist, mida Jumal ei kiida heaks, aga sina kiidad? Oi. I know God doesn't like this, but hey, I'm doing it anyway. Ma tean, et Jumal ei ole selline, tema tahe pole see, aga mina ikkagi teen seda. It has my seal of approval. Sellel on siis see minu see heaks kiidu pitser peal. And I'm not going to change for nothing or nobody. Ja mina ei muuda mitte mingi olukorra tõttu või mitte kellegi pärast seda. And then we tell ourselves lies. Ja siis me hakkame endale valetama. It's just the way I am. Mina lihtsalt olen selline. This is just part of my personality. See on lihtsalt osa minu iseloomuste. You know, for me to get angry like that, you know, I'm sorry if you don't like it, but that's just me. See, et mina niimoodi vihastan, no, väga kahjud sulle see ei meeldi, aga mina lihtsalt olen selline. You know, if you don't like what I'm doing, then don't go with me. Kui sulle ei meeldi see, mida mina teen, siis ära tule kaasa minuga. If you don't like what I'm putting in my body, then hey, don't do it. Et kui sulle ei meeldi see, mida mina enda kehasse panen, siis ära sina seda tee. But this is my body and I'll do what I want with it. Aga see on minu keha, mina ise teen enda kehaga, mida mina tahan. You know, and so here we have people who, who just, they, God might not approve, but they do. Nii et on inimesi, kelle siis tegu viisi Jumala ei pruugi heaks kiita, aga nemad ise kiidavad selle heaks. And those priorities begin to smother out God. Ja need prioriteedid hakkavad siis lämmatama Jumalat nende eluse. You know, David is a good example of this. Taavet on väga hea näide sellest. The Bible tells us that David had a heart like God's heart. Ja piiber räägib sellest, et Taaveti süda oli selline nagu Jumala süda. You listen to him sing and, and, and the, the psalms that he wrote, you could see he had a heart on Bye. Kui sina kuulet teda laulmas nii nagu sa piibis saad näha neid laule, siis sa näed seda, et tema süda oli tules Jumala järgi. But the Bible also tells us that sin came into his life and it broke the fellowship that he had with God. Aga piibel samuti räägib sellest, et pat tuli tema ellu ja siis see rikkus ära selle, tegi katki selle osaduse, mis tal oli Jumalaga. And it smothered that fire for a time. Ja siis see mõneks aegs lämmatas selle tule temas. And he began to, to write things like, why are you so downcast, oh my son? Ja siis ta hakkas kirjutama sellised asju, et miks sa mu hing oled nii rõhutuda? Why? Miks? Why did you do that? Mille pärast sina tegid seda? Why did you let those things bring you down? Mille pärast sina lasid nendele asjadele kiskuda sind maha? And so we can smother the, the fire that's in our heart by sin. Nii et meie saame lämmatada selle tule, mis on meie südameese läbi patu. But another way that we could let the fire go out in us Aga teine viis, kuidas meie saame siis lasta sellel tulel kustuda endase is if we neglect the word and spending time with him in prayer. On see, et kui meie jätame hooletusse Jumala sõna ja ei veeda aega palves. We're not putting any fuel on the fire to cause it to continue to burn. Me ei pane tuld, me ei pane kütus sellesse tulle, nii et selle eläme ei ole millegi põhjal edasi põleda. In your heart can over time can grow cold because there's nothing left for for the for the to stir up the fire in you. Ja aja jooksul see su süda lihtsalt läheb külmaks kuna sinus ei ole midagi mis seda tuld üle sõhutaks. And the fire will eventually burn out in you. Ja siis lõpuks see tuli sinus põleb lõpuni. Just because you have fire in your heart today does not guarantee you're going to have fire in your heart tomorrow. Lihtsalt see et täna sinu südames on tuli ei garanteeri seda et sul ka tulevikus saab olema see tuli seal. You know look at look at somebody who's a a, a recent 
convert a, a, a new believer in Christ. Vaata, kedagi on vast pöörunud, kes on alles saanud ja kristaseks. You know, they are on fire. They're like, wow, this is awesome. Nad on tules ja mõtled, võt, see on põnev. This is what I've been looking for my whole life. See on see, mida mina kogu oma elu olen otsinud. And then you look at somebody who's been saved for 30 years and they're just like, yeah, well, just wait. Ja see vaatad, kellegi peale, kes on olnud 30 aastat, päästad seda, Yeah, sa you know, you, you know, you're just a young Christian. Sina, That's how all young Christians are. You'll mature küpsemaks. and you'll become more like us. Kui sina saad küpsemaks, siis sina saad rohkem selliseks nagu meie. Boring, dead, and no fire. Surnuks, tuld ei ole. Just keep coming to church and we'll just make you like us. No, what they, happens? Et mis juhtub? They stop putting something on that fire and the fire goes out. No, tena ei pane sinna tulle mitte midagi, see tuli Man, I want our church to be a church on fire. Ma tahan seda, et meie kogudus oleks kogudus tules. I want your heart to be a heart on fire for God. Ma tahan seda, et sinu süda oleks tules Jumala järgi. And so keep the fuel on the fire. Nii et hoia seda kütust jätkuvalt ja voolama sinna tulle. I think daily we need to be putting that spiritual fuel on our spiritual fire. Ma usun seda, et siis igapäevaselt meie peaksime panema seda vaimset kütust meie sellesse vaimsesse tulle. And so how do you get a burning heart. Need kuidas sina saad põleva südame? How do you become somebody who has a heart on fire for God? Kuna kuidas sinu saab keegi, kelle süda põleb Jumala järgi? I want to give you three points today and then we're going to go home. Ma tahan sulle täna anda kolm punkti ja siis me lähme koju. So you think I was ending? I'm not ending, I'm just beginning. Need sa mõtsed, ma juba lõpetan, ei, ma ei lõpetanud, ma alles alustan. All right, number 1. Esiteks is the fire inside of you is ignited by the word of God. Esiteks tuli sinu saab südatud läbi Jumala sõna. The fire inside of you is ignited by the word. Tuli sinu saab südatud läbi Jumala sõna. Remember we just read that in Luke 24:32. Ja me näetate me just lugensime seda Luuka 24:32. They asked each other were not our hearts burning within us as he talked to us on the road and opened the scriptures to us. Ja nad küsisid siis ja nad ütlesid üks teine teisele eks meie süda põlenud meie sees kui ta teel meega rääkis ja meile kirju selgitas. You know, he was opening the scripture. He was talking about the Bible. Ta avas neile Jumala sõna, ta rääkis neile piibliste. And it caused their hearts to burn. Ja see põhjustas seda, et nende südamed põlesid. And my question is, do you allow him to open up the scriptures to you daily? Ja minu küsimus sinul on see, kas sina laset temal avada Jumala sõna kiira kohti sinu jaoks igapäevaselt. Do you allow him to speak into your heart and give you a promise or a truth or some treasure? Kas sina laset tal rääkida Jumala sõna sinu südamesse, et avada neid tõotusi ja avada neid kira kohti sinu südames? You know, people spend hours a day watching TV and surfing the internet. Inimesed veedavad tunde päevas aega, et vaadata televiisorit, surrata internetis. This new generation playing their video games. Uus põlgol mängib oma videomänge. You know, and, and so we take hours to do that. Need me võtame tunde selle tegemiseks. And we spend just a few minutes in God's Word. Ja lihtsalt mõne minuti veedama aega Jumala sõnas. And then we wonder why the fire isn't burning in us like it used to burn in us. Ja siis me imestame, mille pärast see tuli meis ei põle nii nagu ta varem põles. You know, we usually find time or we make time for what is important to us. Tavaliselt me leiame aega, me siis võtame aega selle jaoks, mis on oluline meie jaoks. I don't know about you, but I mean, for me, studying and getting ready for, for church is important. Ma ei tea, kuidas on lood sinuga ka minu jaoks, siis Jumala sõna õppimine, valmistuma, valmistumine teenistuseks on tähtis. And whatever else goes on in my life, I make sure I have my time to do that. Ja mis iganes mu elus muud toimub, ma teen kindlaks, et mul on aeg olemas selle jaoks. Because I consider this an honor and a privilege. See pärast, et mina pean seda auks ees õiguseks. I want to give my best to you every time I stand up here. Mina tahan anda enda parima iga kord, kui ma seisan siin teie ees. And so I make time to make sure I have something to tell you. Nii et mina siis võtan aega selle jaoks, et olla kindel, et mul on mida sulle öelda. What's important for you? Mis on oluline sinu jaoks? You're going to make time for it. Et sina võtad aega selle jaoks. Well, there's not much important for me. Et minu, minu jaoks eriti midagi olulist well, ei you know, you take time to eat every day, that's important. Iga päev võtad aega sööimiseks, on tähtis asi. You take time to drink something every day, hopefully just water. Or iga, 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 iga päev sa võtad aega midagi juua, loodetavasti siis vett või mingid mahla, midagi you know, sellist. But, but we, we will make time for what is important. Et meie siis leiame, võtame aega, leiame aega selle jaoks, mis on tähtis meie And so I think it's jaoks. time for some of us to maybe re-evaluate our priorities. Ja ma usun seda, et mõne meie jaoks on oluline nüüd, võtta siis ja vaadata üle oma prioriteedid siin elus. We would spend more time in the word and we would spend more time in prayer and praise. Et meie vedaksime rohkem aega palves, vedaksime rohkem aega kiituses, ülistuses, Jumala sõnas. 
that, that, we, would, that we would get get something every day to, to light that fire in us. Me iga päevaselt saaksime midagi, et süüata seda, et hoida seda tult põlemase. I'm not saying internet and TV are bad. Ma ütle sulle seda, et internet ja televisioon need on halvade. I'm just saying don't let that steal the time with you and God. Ma lihtsalt ütlen, et ära lase sellel varastada seda sinu aega koos Jumalaga. And Jesus explained who he was in the scriptures. Ja Jeesus seletas, kes tema on läbi kirjakohtade. He wasn't preaching here. Et tema siin ei, ei jutustanud, he wasn't ei talk- kuulutanud. He wasn't talking about a gospel that wasn't written. He was talking about the gospel that is written throughout the whole Old Testament. Ta ei rääkinud evankeeliumi seda, mis on praegu kirjutatud see uus testament, vaid tema rääkis seda evankeeliumi, mis oli kogu selle vana, vana testamendi, vana lepingu aja kirja vanduda. So he's not just preaching and saying, I am the Messiah. Ta lihtsalt ei jutlusta ja ütle seda, et mina olen Messias. Believe in me and I'm the way to heaven. Usu minusse, mina olen tee taevasse. That wasn't his message. Et see ei olnud tema sõnume. He went back and he began to, to read the pictures and the, the, the different uh, examples of Jesus throughout the whole ta, life. Ta läks tagasi, ta hakkas siis ette lugema kõiki neid erinevaid pilte ja siis lugusid temast, mis näitas teda seal vanas testamendis. He showed the redemption that had to be accomplished for all mankind. Ja ta näitas sealt neile luna mis pidi viidama lõpule iga inimese jaoks. He began to reveal to him that, that, that the Messiah has always been a part of God's plan. Ja ta hakkas ilmutama neile seda, et Messias on alati olnud osa Jumala plaaniste. And how the offering always had to be sacrificed. Ja kuidas ohver alati tuli ohverdada. So that man could be free. Selleks, et inimene saaks vabaks. So that man could have relationship with their God. Et inimesed saaks olla suhe oma Jumalaga. And it caused them, they said, to burn. Ja see põhjustas nende jaoks seda nii nagu nemad ütlevad, et nei, midagi põles neis. This is life. Et see on elu. That you burn on the inside for God. Et sina seems seal põled Jumala jaoks. And so, so the, the second point I want to make is this. Ja teine punkt, mida ma soovin esile tuua on see. The, the fire in your heart is ignited through the word. Et uh, siis uh, Jumala et see tuli sinu südames, saab südatud läbi Jumala sõna. But the fire is intensified through fellowship with Aga God. Aga see uh, See tuli, see saab intensiivistatud läbi osaduse Jumalaga. It starts with the word. See saab alguse sõnast. But it gets hotter through fellowship. Aga see läheb kuumemaks läbi osaduse. Again in Luke 24, 32. Ja jällegi Luuka 24, 32. And so they asked each other, were not our hearts burning within us while he talked with us on the road and opened the scriptures to us? Ja nad ütlesid teine teise, eks meie süda põlenud meie sees, kui ta teel meiega rääkis ja meile kirju selgitase. So he was talking with them, he was fellowship you know, and fellowship is going to cause that fire that is in you to burn even hotter. Ja see osadus, et temaga on see, mis põhjustab seda tult sinus põlema veel tulisemalt. And here they were complaining about themselves and their life and their problems. Ja, ja siin nemad siis kurtsid, virisesid oma raske elu pärast ja nende probleemide pärast nende eluse. You know, I quit my job to follow this guy and now I'm going to go home. Ma jätsin oma töö maha, et järgnida sellele mehele, aga võt nüüd, mina ei jalutan koju tagasi. I gave of myself, I served this man. Mina antsin ka kõik, mis ma olin, et teen seda inimeste, and meeste. It's all for nothing, he's dead. Ja kõik mitte millega pärast. What a waste of time. And Jesus shows up and he starts talking. Ja Jeesus ilmub välja hakkab neile rääkima. And every scripture he gives them the fire just grows. Ja iga kirja koht mis ta neile annab siis see tuli lihtsalt hakkab kasvama neise. And they're like, yeah, I know, I know. Ja see siis on nimode et ja ma tean, ma tean, ma tean. Yeah, I, I, that's what I sensed about him. Et see on see mida mina tundsin, kogesin tema suhtes. I believe that I see that. Mina usun seda, mina näen seda. And the more he talked, the more they wanted to listen. Ja mida rohkem ta rääkis, seda rohkem nemad tahsid kuulata. And through that fellowship with him it just grew and grew and grew. Ja läbi selle osaduse temaga see lihtsalt kasvas ja kasvas, kasvas. Man, I can't wait to get to heaven and hear Jesus preach about all that he did for us. He's the best preacher that's ever walked the planet. Whole cities would leave for days to go listen to him talk. I have a hard time getting a hundred people to come here on us one for two hours. Ja mul on raske saada seda, et siin sada inimest tuleks siia kohale või mõni sada inimest kuulema kas või kaheks tunniks. But Jesus would have whole cities follow him for days just to hear him talk. Aga terved linnad järgnesid Jeesus selle päevi lihtsalt et teda kuulda rääkimas. Greatest teacher and preacher has ever lived. Kõige imelisem õpetaja ja jutustaja, kes kunagi on elanud. His words were filled with life and fire. Tema sõnad olid täidetud elu ja tulega. Can you imagine if these two guys had this personal time even they didn't even though they didn't know it was him? 
it just burned. Ja kas sa kujutad ette, et need kaks mees, kelle oli see aeg, tema, aga kuigi nad ei teanud otseselt, see on tema, aga nende süda põles neis. You know, the Bible talks about Mary and Martha, remember them? Ja piivel räägib Maarest ja Martast, mäletate neid. Back in Luke chapter 10. Luuka evangeelium 10. peadrikis. And remember, the Bible said this about Mary. Ja piivel ütles seda Maaria kohta. That she chose to sit at Jesus' feet. Et tema valis istuda Jeesuse jalge eesa. She sat at his feet and she listened and she worshipped. Ta istus Jeesus jalge eesa ta kuules ja ta ülistas and and Jesus said this about her ja Jeesus ütles seda tema kohta it is the one thing that is needed et see on üks asi mida mida on vaja it is the one thing that is permanent et see on üks asi mis on selline jääv oluline because it's never going to be taken from her selles seda mitte kunagi ei võeta temalt she has this hour with me it will be with her for a lifetime Tal on see tund minuga ja see on koos temaga igavesti. And so in a Christian life, ja Kristus elus, you know, we need to choose the right things. Me ei peame valima õigeid asju, õige asja. Now in the Christian life, our choices are usually not between good and evil. Ja tavaliselt kristlasena me elus ei ole valikud siis kurja ja halva vahel. You know, if a Christian has to choose between good and evil, Hopefully you'll choose good. Ja kui kristlane peab valima siis halva või hea või kurja vahel siis loodetavasti sa valid selle hea. But our, our choices are not usually that. Our choices are usually between good and best. Aga tavaliselt meie valikud ei ole selles. Meie valikud on selles kas hea või parima. And, and so many times that we, we live our lives. Ja väga tihti me elame enda elusede. And we're consumed with a lot of good activity. Ja siis me me oleme hõivatud väga paljude heade tegevustega. And we're so busy with those things that are just good that we neglect what's really important. Et me oleme siis taaselt hõivatud nende asjadega nii nagu uh, ja nii nagu nendes heades asjades et meil ei ole siis enam aega ka tähelepanu tõeliselt oluliste head asjade jaoks. You know the 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 enemy of best is good. Ja siis uh, selle parima vaenlane on hea. Don't just do good things, do, do your best. Ära lihtsalt tee häid asju, tee parimate. Be everything that you can be. Ole kõik see, mida sina saad olla. The most successful people I know. Kõige edukamad inimesed, keda mina tean, are the ones that prioritize their life. On need, kes siis panema prioriteedid paika enda eluse. The ones that start their day and say, okay, these things I must do, these things are good to do, and these things I'll do if I have time. On need inimesed, kes panema paika, vaat need asjad on need, mida ma pean tegema, need asjad on need, mida on on hea teha ja need asjad teha, mida siis võibolla teha. And spending time with the Lord has got to be a priority for us. Ja isanda ka aja veetmine peab olema prioriteediks meie jaoks. You know, we have to have something to give. Meil peab olema midagi sellist mida anda. And you can go out and you can give and give out and give out and give out, but if you're not taken in, you're going to run out. Sa võid minna välja, siis anda mutku välja, annad välja, annad välja, aga kui sa midagi juurde ei saa, siis sa ei saa, siis sa saad tühjaks. So you have to have something to give. Nii et sul peab olema mida anda. That means you've got to receive. See tähendab seda, et sina pead võtma vastu. You've got to take some time with him. Sina pead võtma aega temaga. Jesus has provided the way. Jesus on varustanud tee. And now he wants me and he wants you to go and spend time with him. Me ei jaoks ja nüüd ta tahab seda, et sina ja mina me läheksime veedaksime aega temaga. You know, these disciples, they had spent time with the risen Lord. Ja need jüngrid, nad olid veetnud aega üles tõusnud isandaga. But it was Jesus who initiated the fellowship. Aga see oli Jeesus, kes oli siis selle osaduse, see initsiatiiv selle alustaja poole. You know, he, he went to them and said, hey, what are you guys talking about? Can I, can I join in? Ta läks nende juurde ütles, et kuulge mehed, mida te arutate? Arutlete siin, kas ma võin teega ühineda? And so Jesus, Jesus initiated, he began the fellowship. And God is seeking for people who will respond to him. Ja Jumal otsib inimesi, kes vastavad temale. And we must respond to that that fellowship that he wants to have. Ja me peame vastama siis sellele osadusele, mida tema tahab omada meiega. But then remember as we just read in verse 28, Jesus pretended like he was going on. Aga mäletad seda Salmis 28, Jeesus seal teeskles nagu tema läheks edasi. They got to their town, they pulled off the road and Jesus acted like I'm still traveling. No, et jõudsid siis enda linna, siis Jeesus tegi nii, ta teeskes nagu tema kõniks edasi. Because he's not going to push himself on anybody. Kuna tema ei hakka ennast mitte kui kellegile peale suruma. If they didn't want to listen, he probably wouldn't have talked. Kui nemad poleks tahnud kuulda, siis tema tõenäoliselt ei oleks neid endaga rääkinud. But the more he talked, the more they said, and what else, and what else? Aga mida rohkem ta rääkis, seda rohkem nad ütlesid, mida veel, mida veel räägi? They got to the, their, their turn-off point. No, et jõudsid siis sinna kohta, kus siis oli see ristmiku kohta. Jesus kept walking, you know. 
Jeesus jätka seda edasikõndimist. Be good guys. Olge tublid poisida. I hope, hope you're feeling better. Loodetavasti tunnete paremini. And they said, no, no, don't leave. Ja Come with ütlesid, us. Ei, ei, ära mine veel, tule koos meiega. You know, and they begged him, the Bible says. Ja siis piibel ütleb seda, et nad anusid teda. Come stay with me. Tule, tule, ole minu juures. Come, I, we, we want to spend more time Me tahame veeta rohkem aega koos sinuga. If we just understood what time with Jesus would do for us. Ja, see again. If we would only understand what time with Jesus would do for us. Ja, kui me lihtsalt mõistaksime seda, et mida see aeg Jeesusega God wants our fellowship. He's not going to force himself on you. Et Jumal tahab seda osadust, aga tema ei sunni ennast peale. But he's there and he's ready if you'll ask him. Aga tema on seal, ta on valmis, et kui, et kui sina siis palut teda. And these disciples, they pleaded with him to stay. Ja need jüngrid, nemad anusid, et ta jääks sinna. But, uh, you know, this, 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 this fellowship with him, it's going to continue to, to cause the fire to become more intense. Ja see osadus temaga, see põhjustab seda, et see tuli sinus on selline intensiivne. And so the fire has started from the word. Nii et see tuli saab alguse tulest. It is intensified through fellowship. Ja siis see saab intensiivistatud läbi osaduse. And then point number three. Ja kolmas punkt. A heart on fire will inspire you to become more vocal about Jesus. Et see süda, mis on tules, inspireerib sind olema rohkem häälekas Jeesuse jaoks. It will inspire you to be more vocal. See inspireerib sinda rohkem rääkima. And, and you know, once their eyes were opened, ja siis kui nende silmad said avatud, once they knew it was Jesus, kui nemad teadsid seda, et tema on Jeesus, they, they had to go tell the other disciples. Siis nad pidid minema ja rääkima teistele jüngritele. Now, it, it, was, it was night, we don't know how late. Et oli juba õhtu, et me ei tea või naite öö, siis me ei tea kui hilja see oli. But we know it was dark. Aga me teame seda, et oli juba pime. They're 11 kilometers from the other apostles. Nad on 11 kilometri kaugusel teistest apostlitest. And they're like, it might be dangerous to travel, but we're going back. Ja sa nad mõtsed, võib olla ohtlik reisida, aga meie läheme tagasi. We just saw Jesus. That was it. We talked with him. Me just nägime Jeesus, me ei rääksime temaga. That was our savior. He was et, talking about himself. Tema on meie pääst, et tema ise rääkis endast. My heart was burning the whole time. I just knew it was true. Minu süda põles and I believe it didn't take two, and two hours and 20 minutes to go back. I believe they hurried back. And they had to go tell what, what they had seen. And what they felt. And they had to go And they had to go tell what they had seen. And what they felt. And when our hearts burn within us. Ja, kui meie süda põleb meise, when we have a sense of the reality of God's presence in our lives. Kui meil on selline, tunneme, tunneme Jumala reaalsust enda eluse, kogeme we, seda. We won't be able to keep it to ourselves. Siis me, ei ole, siis me ei suuda seda pidada lihtsalt ise enda. We're going to have to go share it. Meil on vaja minna seda ja jagada teistele. We're going to want to go tell somebody what Jesus has done. Me tahame minna ja rääkida ka kellegile teisele, mida Jeesus on teinud. And sometimes we don't, we're, we're not talking about going and talking to unbelievers. Sometimes we'll just go talk to another Christian. Ja siis mõnikord me ei lähe räägi lihtsalt uskmatutele, vaid me läheme räägime teistele usklikele. Sometimes we just need to hear from one another, what's God been saying to you? Ja vahest meil on vaja kuulda siis üks teiselt, mida Jumal on sulle rääkinud. What are you getting from the Lord this week? Et mida sina oled selle nädalal saanud isanda käest? Man, you tell me and then I tell you and then we're just like, yeah! Räägi, räägi sina mulle, mina räägin sulle ja siis me oleme niimoodi põnevile. You know, I have, a, I have a pastor friend back in America. I love to call and talk to him and just, you know, what's the Lord been talking to you? Mul on üks pastoris sõber Ameerikas ja siis mulle meeldib talle aegalt eristada ja küsida, et kuule, mida isand on sinule rääkinud? And he says, and what's the Lord been speaking to you? Ja siis tema küsib, et mida isand on sulle rääkinud? What have you been teaching recently? Et mida sina oled hiljuti siin õpetanud? And I love to just talk about the, the word of God that's burning in me. Ja mulle meeldib rääkida Jumala sõnas, mis on minus põlemas. And sometimes we share it with one another as Christians. Ja mõnikord me jagame siis üksteisele kristlastena. But we also need to be sharing with the world that is lost and dying and going to hell. Aga me samuti peame jagama maailmale, kes siis on suremas ja kes on põrgusse minemas. And, and so we, we need to, to want to share. Ja kes on siis ka kadunud. Me and, ei peame tahtma jagada. And we will get there when our hearts are burning for God. Ja me jõuame sinna paika, kui meie süda põleb Jumala järgi. A heart on fire changes your life. Süda tule, see muudab sinu elu. It changes your outlook. See muudab selle viisi, kuidas sina näed asju. When your heart's on fire, the situation maybe doesn't change, but you change. Kui sinu süda põleb, siis su olukord võibolla ei muutu, aga sina selle keskel muutuda. And you're going to desire to tell everyone. Ja see viis, kuidas sina seda näed ja sa igatsed rääkida kõikidele. You know, the, the, their hearts were on fire. They wanted to go proclaim Jesus is Alive. Nende süda põles ja nende soov oli minna ja rääkida seda, Jeesus on elus. And, and, and so this changed their attitude completely. Ja see muutis täielikult nende hoiakud. Because their hearts were burning within them. Kuna nende südamed põlesid neise. 
It's still the same situation. Ja, ikka praegu on sama olukorda. Still the same story. Ikka on sama lugu. Jesus preached and taught and did miracles and died on a cross. Jeesus jutlustas, õpetas, tegi imesid ja ta suri risti peal. And now his tomb is empty and his body is gone. Ja nüüd tema haud on tühi, keha seal enam ei ole. So it's still the same situation. Need ikka on see sama olukord. But now their hearts are burning and it made everything different. Aga nüüd nende südamed põlevad ja see tegi kõik teistsugus. They weren't so focused on the negative, they began to focus on what he's done. Nad enam ei keskendunud sellele halvale, vaid nad keskendusid sellele, mida tema on teinud. And these two sad guys ja came two men on fire. Ja need kaks kurva mees, neis said mehed, kellel oli süda põles Jumala järgi. They were enthusiastic. Nad olid entusiastlikud. Again, their faith was exploding on the inside. Jällegi nende usk neis plahvatas. And so my question for you this morning is is your heart on fire ja minu küsimus sinule täna hommikul on see kas sinu süda põleb is your heart burning for the lord kas sinu süda põleb isanda jaoks is the fire the presence of god real to you kas see, see jumala liigi olu on tõeline sinu jaoks is this something that you desire to have in your life kas see on midagi sellis mida sina igatsed omada enda eluse it's available to everyone who would seek him and everyone who would would, would apply themselves see on saadav liiga ühe jaoks kes siis otsib teda ja siis kes siis who would apply themselves kes siis teeb teatud asju you know uh, it, it comes through jesus et see tuleb läbi jeesuse it comes through the holy spirit see tuleb läbi püha vaimu and it comes through the word of god see tuleb läbi jumala sõna through confessing jesus christ as your lord läbi selle et sina tunnistad jeesus kristust oma isandana and receiving the power of the resurrection ja et sina võtad vastu selle üles tõusmise väe there is power in a resurrected savior üles tõusnud päästes on vägi and so we, we, it would be terrible to live your life without fire ja see oleks kohuta kui sina elaksid enda elu ilma tuleta i would hate to be a christian and just be dead inside. Ma vihkaksin seda olla kristlane, kes on lihtsalt surnud seismiselt. I maybe had some days like that, but I thank God I've not lived very long like that. Ja mul on võib-olla olnud sellised päevi mu elus, aga ma tänan Jumalat sellest, et ma väga kaua ei ole nii elanud. Because I've learned the difference. Kuna mina olen õppinud selle erinevuse. And I will do whatever it takes to make sure I stay on fire. Ja ma teen kõik seda, mida mina suudan, et püsida tules. I don't want to live a cold, predictable life. Ma ei taha elada lihtsalt sellist külma, ette aimatavat elu. Just kind of lihtsalt nii lihtsalt lootusetult elan just going with the flow man ma lihtsalt selle elu vooluga lihtsalt lähen kaasa just wherever life takes me kuhu iganes elu mind viib come on bro don't push me kuule venna sära sina mind tules ja trügima we'll get there in our own time et iga üks me oma lae jõuame kohale no that's that Ei. that might sound really uh, inviting See võib siis kõlada väga nagu kutsuvalt. But I tell you that does not lead to a real life. Aga ma ütlen sulle seda, see ei vii selles et tõelisse ellu. Real life is a life that we go and possess. Tõeline elu on see, mida mille järgi meie läheme ja me võtame selle. We wake up every day saying I'm going to get the best out of this day. Mi iga päev me ütleme, et mina võtan selles päevast parima. And we do it with a heart on fire for God. Ja me teeme seda südamega, mis on tules Jumala jaoks. So is your heart on fire? Need kas sinu süda on tules? You know I want us to, 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 to have what God wants. Ja mina tahan seda, meil oleks see, mida Jumal tahab. God wants us to have our heart on fire. Jumal tahab seda, et meie süda on tules. Jesus set these two guys hearts on fire. Jeesus pani nende kahe mehe südamed põlema. God wants us to live our lives full of him. Jumal tahab, et meie elaksime enda elusid täis teda. And that we would fulfill his plan for our lives. Ja et meie täidaksime tema plaani enda elu jaoks. And so we want to live abundantly. Nii et me siis et me elaksime küllluslikult. What does that mean? Mida see tähendab? Well, I'll just say it this way today. Live with your heart on fire. Ma täna lihtsalt ütlen nii, et ela enda elu, mis on siis süda täis tulda. Never forget what the Lord has done. Ära mitte kunagi unusta seda, mida isand on teinud. Don't let the doubts and fears about your future put out your fire. Ära lase kahtlustel hirmulema tuleviku suhtes siis lämmatada seda tulda. Let the Holy Spirit in you burn in your heart. Lase püha vaime põleda sinu südamese. Let his word be seared into your heart. Lase siis tema sõna olla. I'm seared, like uh, burned into your heart. Lasse tema sõna olla lihtsalt niimoodi põleda sinu südames olla põletatud sinu südamesse. So that it can never be erased. Et mitte kunagi seda ei saaks ära kustutada sealt. The word of God in me nobody could take away. Et see Jumala sõna, mis on minus mitte keegi saa seda ära võtta, et see oleks nagu sisse 
söövitatud. Reach sinna. out to Jesus. Ja siis sirutu Jeesuse poole. And receive his love. Ja võta vastu tema armastuse. Receive the power of the resurrection. Võta vastu üles tõunise vägi. Receive what he has provided for you as a believer in Christ. Ja võta vastu see, millega tema sind on varustanud sind siis, kes sina oled usklik Jeesusesse, Kristusesse. And he gives us all these things. Ja tema annab meile kõik need asjad. Through his mercy and through his grace. Läbi oma halastuse, läbi oma armu. You don't deserve it, but he'll give it to you. Et sina ei ole neid asju välja teeninud. Sina ise endast ei väärin gotta, neid, aga tema annab sulle kõik need. All you've got to do is desire it. Kõik, mida sina pealt tegema on, sina pealt igatsema neid asju. You go after him and he will give you what you seek for. Et sina, mina ja tema järgi ja tema siis annab sulle seda, mida sina vajad. Let him into your heart, let him into your life. Lased enda südamesse, lased enda ellu. Your heart will burn. Ja sinu süda siis põleb. And you will live a life on fire. Ja sina elad elu tules. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to live a life on fire. Mina tahan elada elu tules. And so church remember. Nii et kogudus pea meeles. Uh, remember Jesus when he, when he was when he was doing communion with the boys before he went to the cross. Ja mäleta Jeesust kui Jeesus siis nad olid seal armul aual Jeesus võttis murdis leiba enne kui ta läks ristile koos oma siit jüngritega. You know communion with Jesus is one of the ways to keep our fire. Et see armul aud Jeesusega see on üks viis kuidas hoida seda tult põlemase ja südant tulese. You know these two guys they recognize Jesus when he broke the bread. Need kaks meest nad tundsid ära Jeesuse kui Jeesus võttis ja ta murdis selle leiba. Maybe he didn't say it, maybe he did. Ja võib-olla ta ei öelnud, võib-olla ta ütles. But maybe he said, "Father, this is my body." Ja võib-olla ta ütles, "Isa, see on minu ihu." That is broken for these men. Mis on murtud nende meeste eest. And as he broke the bread. Ja kui tema murdis seda leiba. They recognized him. They recognized who he was. Siis nad tundsid ära tema, nad tundsid ära selle, kes ta on. They recognized and understood the sacrifice that he had already made. Ja nad tundsid ära nad selle ohvri, mida tema juba oli toonud. And now they see him as the risen savior. Ja nüüd nemad näevad teda üles tõusnud päästena. They see him as the king of kings and the lord of lords. Ja nemad näevad teda kuningate kuningana, isandate, isandana. It changed their life. Forever. Ja see muutis nende elu igaveseks. When he broke the bread, they recognized him, they knew him. Kui ta murdis leiva, siin nad tundsid tema ära. Nad, nad siis nad tundsid ära tema. And as we have communion, and we're going to take communion here in just a few moments. Ja siis me siin hetke pärast võtame osa armu lauast. When we take communion, I want you to remember him. Ja kui me siis võtame osa sellest leiva murdmises, ma tahan, et sina mäletaksid teda. And I want you to let that fire burn on the inside. Ja lasse tuli põleda sinu sees. I want you to let it become the thing that gives you the the drive to go out of this room and go out into your life. Lasse anda sinule selle selle innukuse minna edasi siit välja ja elada enda elu temale. And go do what he wants you to do. Ja mina ja tee seda mida tema tahab et sina teeksid. And what were the words of Jesus when he broke the bread? Ja mis olid need Jeesuse sõnad kui tema võttis ta murdis selle selle leiva? He said every time you do this. Ta ütles iga kord kui teie teete seda. Remember me. Mäletage minda. Remember me. Mäletage minda. What is he saying? Mida tema ütleb? Let it be a fire in you. Las see olla tuli teise. Let what I did mean something. Las see, mida mina tegin, tähendada midagi teie jaoks. Don't take for granted what I've given Ära võta iseneses mõistetavana seda, mida mina olen teinud teie jaoks. This is life. Selle pärast, et see on elu. This is what life is all about. See on see, milles elu seisneb. In this same story. See sama lugu. After they had gone to the, the disciples. Peale seda, kui nad olid läinud jüngrite juurde. Jesus shows up right in the middle of their testimony. Jeesus ilmu välja keset nende tunnistamist. The Bible said he didn't even walk through the door. All of a sudden they just saw Jesus was standing there. Ja Bible ütleb seda, et Jeesus isegi ei tulnud nimode, et ei olnud uks tehti lahti tuli sisse, vaid jäsku lihtsalt Jeesus oli seal nende keskele. Let me read one last place in the scripture. Ja las ma loen viimase koha siin kirjakohas. Luke 24:46-49. Jumala sõnas Luuka 24 salmid 46-49. And it says and he told them this is what was written the Messiah will suffer and rise from the dead on the third day. Ja ütles neile, nõnda on kirjutatud, et Messias pidi kannatama ja kolmandal päeval üles tõusma surnuiste. And repentance for the forgiveness of sin will be preached in his name to all nations beginning in Jerusalem. Ja tema nimel peab kuulutatama meele parandus patude andeks andmiseks kõigi rahvaste seas alates Jerusalemast. And you are witnesses of these things. Te olete nende asjade tunnistajad. And I'm going to send what my father has promised, but stay in the city until you've been clothed with power. From on high. Ja vaata, mina läkitan teie üle oma isa tõotuse, teie ka viibige selles linnas, kuni teid rüütatakse väga kõrgelt. So he's saying, you think your hearts are burning right now? 
Nii et ta ütles, et te arvate seda, et teie südamed põlevad praegu. You haven't seen nothing yet. Te veel ei ole näinud mitte midagi. You wait until I send you the Holy Spirit, te then oodake, you're going to really be on fire. Te oodake, kui ma saadan teile püha vaimu, siis te saate olema tõeliselt tules. Then you're really going to be burning. Siis te tõeliselt saate põlema. Then you're really going to be able to deliver a message that's going to be life changing. Siis te tõeliselt olete võimesed edasi viimas sõnumid, mis on elu muutava. Jesus wants to give you a heart Jeesus tahab sulle anda südame, mis on tules. I want you as a church to be hearts on fire. Ma tahan seda, et te oleksite kogudus, kelle süda on tules. Not just here, but I want it here. Mitte lihtsalt siin, aga ma tahan seda siin. I don't want you to come to church, you know, being quiet. Ma ei taha seda, et te tulete kogudus, et te olete vaikselt. Light your little candle and go. Et paned oma vaikse kündlakise põlema ja lähed. You're totally missing the point. Et täielikult paned sellest mõttest mööda. But you come to church and you be a light a heart, a life on fire. Aga sina tuled siia kogudusse, siis sinu süda, sinu elu põleb isanda jaoks. That we would burn for God in every way. Et meie põleksime Jumalale igal viisile. And that we would take the fire we get here and we take it out to the world. Et meie võtaksime selle tule, mis me siin saame ja me võtaksime ja viiksime selle välja maailma. Because Jesus said the forgiveness of sin will be preached in his name to all nations. Nii et Jeesus ütse, et tema siis... Patetu ande, patude andestus, andestamine tema nimes saab kuulutatud kõikide rahvaste seas. Ja tema ristis nende südameid Holy Spirit and fire. püha vaimu ja tulega. And this is what we remember when we have communion. Ja see on see, mida meie mäletame, kui meil on leiva murdmine. So I would like you all just to stand up. Nii et ma soovin seda, et te kõik tuuseksite püsti. And I want us to prepare our hearts to take communion together I want you to remember what Jesus has given to us. I want it to cause a fire to rise up in us. Fire that won't go out. A fire that, that, that is all consuming of who we are and what we do. And I want us to be the light and the life that God wants us to be. Ja ma tahan seda, et me oleksime valguseks ja selleks tuleks, mida Jumal tahab, et meie oleme. Let's pray. Ja palvetame. Father, we love you. Isa, meie armastame sind. I thank you so much for all that you do for us. Ma nii väga tänan sind kõige selle ees, mida sina teed meie jaoks. I thank you for your word. Mina tänan sind sinu sõna eest. Your word that is alive and powerful. Sinu sõna, mis on elav ja vääline. Your word that will cause a fire to be ignited in our hearts. Sinu sõna, mis põhjustab seda, et see tuli saab südatud meie südameis. I thank you for this time that we could have with you. Ma tänan sind selle ajas, mis meil saab olla koos sinuga. That we could have fellowship with the living God. Et meil saab olla osadus elava Jumalaga. That we allow you to speak into our hearts. And that that fire is intensified. And Father, I thank you that we would be, be inspired to go out and tell everyone we know of all that you've done. And I pray that as we do what you've asked of us, that the fire that is in us will grow and become all that we desire for. Et see tuli, mis on meis, et see kasvaks ja oleks kõike seda, mida sina igatsed meie jaoks. Thank you, Lord, that we can be a church on fire. Isand aitäh sulle selle eest, me saame olla kogudus, kes on tules. Thank you, Lord, that we can be lives who are on fire for you. Isand aitäh sulle selle eest, et me saame olla elu, mis põlevad sinu jaoks. I pray, Lord, that we would be hearts on fire. Isand, ma palun seda, et meie südamed oleksid tules. Help us to be hearts on fire. Isand aitäh meil, et meie südamed oleksid tules. As we seek you. As we, as we run after you and run after your presence, may we burn on the inside just as these two men did. Because we believe. Because we believe. Because we believe. Oh, I thank you, Lord, that it's true. I thank you that you're alive. I thank you that we serve a God who cares. He loves us. And we thank you for it. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Hallelujah. Now the way we do it here at Elevave when we have communion together. Ja see viis, kuidas me siin teeme Elevave koguses, kui me võtame osaleiva murdmisest. We're going to take some time and we're going to hand out these elements to everybody who is here. Me võtame aega ja me jagame laial need elementid igal ühel, kes täna on siin. And if you're a believer in Jesus, ja kui sina on usklik, sina usud Jeesuses, I invite you just to take what, 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 you, what you've been given. Siin ma kutsun siin ka osa võtma sellest, et mis sinule on antud. And that you would have communion with us today. Et sina koos võtaksid meeg osa 
You don't have to be a member of this church. You just need to be a member of the family of God. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the worship team sing a song. And I'm going to have the ushers hand out the, the elements to you. I'm going to ask everyone who's here just to hold that until everybody's been served. And then once everybody's been served, I'm going to come back up here and we're going to have communion together. So I want to ask you just to be seated while they sing and just make it easier to pass the, the plates. And let's just prepare our hearts to receive communion. Uh, from the Lord. Amen. 
has fallen down in this place today. I hope you sense and know that your heart is burning. I want you to know his presence in a real and living way. Remember when Jesus took and broke the bread. He said, this is my body that is broken for you. And every time you eat of this bread. He said, remember me. Remember what I've done. Remember what my body represents. And let's remember that today as we partake together in the bread. Let's eat. The Bible said after they had taken the bread that Jesus picked up the cup. Ja piibe räägib sellest, et peale seda, kui nad olid sõnud leiva, Jeesus võttis karika. He said, this is a cup of a new covenant in my blood. Ta ütles, et see karikas on uus lepik minu verese. There's nothing like the blood of Jesus. Et Jeesuse veres annast ei ole midagi. He said, in my blood is a new covenant. Ta ütles, et minu veri on uus lepik. You have a new covenant with your heavenly father. Sinul on uus lepik sinu taeva sisaga. The Bible says the old is gone and the new is come. Piibel ütleb seda, et vana läinud uus on tulnud. And he said, there's a new covenant in my blood. And every time you drink from this covenant, remember me until I come again. Remember. Remember what the blood means to you. The forgiveness of sin. A life with God. A life on fire. Let's drink from the covenant. Jesus, we thank you. Jesus, me tänan me sinda. We love you so much. Me armastame sin nii väga. We want to have our lives on fire. Me tahame seda, et me elu tuleksid tule. I thank you that your fire is being stirred in each one of us this morning. Ma tänan sin selle eest, et sinu tuli saab meis üle sõhutatud igas ühes. We would not leave here the same way we came in. Et me ei lahkuks siit nii, nagu me siia tulime. But that we would leave here ready to be used by you. We would be ready to share our faith that is on fire. That we would not be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. But that we would know it is the power that brings salvation. Father, I pray that you would help us to live our lives on fire. Remind us daily by the Holy Spirit to put more fuel on our fire. We want it. We thank you for it. Hallelujah. We thank you for it. We thank you for it. Hallelujah. Just raise your hands and just thank God. Oh God, we thank you for the fire. We thank you that you've changed our lives. We thank you, Jesus, that you suffered for our, our sake. That you did it for us that we don't have to. You paid a price that we could never pay. Jesus, we thank you. We love you. We receive all that you've done for us today. Oh, glory to your name. Glory to the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Glory to the Lamb of God who sits on the throne. Glory to Jesus. Glory to you, Jesus. We praise you. We praise you. You are God. And there is no other. We put you first. We love you. We love you. As a church, we praise you. We praise you on fire. We praise you because you're worthy. We praise you because there, there is no God before us. Except you. You are with us. It doesn't matter who's against us. For we have victory in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, cause us to burn today. Cause our lives to be set on fire by the power of the resurrection. May we see you in a real way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for your amazing plan. Oh, we're so grateful. We're so grateful. You're so good to us. Oh, we love you. We love you. Oh, hallelujah. 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 We love you, Lord. We love you. We love you. We love you. My God is good. Amen. Amen. Your God is good. He's amazing. He's a life giver. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you so much for being with us today. I, I pray that you know how much we appreciate each and every one of you. Just want to remind you, Wednesday night we do have a special guest speaker that's going to be here. A good friend of mine, Ivar, is going to be teaching us the Word of God. And sharing a testimony that is real to him. Ja, 